There are those who say that young people are the future. But for the gift of life bone marrow foundation and the thousands of patients in need of blood stem cell transplants, young people are very much the here and now. Since the first bone marrow drives were held at Yeshiva University, young adults have taken leadership roles in organizing and promoting outreach and recruitment campaigns, in joining the registry as potential donors, and taking action to save lives when called as a match. Indeed, they have proven themselves a light among the nations, not just by learning about the value of Tikkun Alam, but by living it. In just four years, student volunteers have added more than 25,000 potential donors to Gift of Life's registry. Yeshiva University students are responsible for enrolling almost 2,600 of those donors alone. In fact, more than 20 YU students and alumni have gone on to give the ultimate gift to patients with life-threatening illnesses. That gift is the gift of life. Richard Joel, president of Yeshiva University, has played a critical role encouraging student activism through Gift of Life donor recruitment drives on campuses throughout North America. An entire generation of young Jews around the nation and the world want to build lives of purpose and meaning, and this is a great and wonderful way to do that. Avi Amsalem joined Gift of Life's registry as a potential donor in 2005. Just two years later, he received a call that would forever change his life. When I first heard that I was a potential donor for the gift of life, I felt like I won some sort of a lottery. How many people do you know that aren't doctors and have actually saved someone's life? It's crazy to think how a five minute cheek swab can have such an impact on so many people's lives. I found it very empowering to know that I not only impacted my recipient, but I've also had an influence on my friends, family, and community. I was tested with the Gift of Life Registry in Yeshiva University in 2001. My experience with the Gift of Life was very special to me because when I found out that I was a match for a patient, it was actually about a week after I'd gotten engaged. It was really the first opportunity that my now wife and I had to do something together. Having been privileged to be a donor for Gift of Life, has been a transforming experience. It didn't matter to me that the man I was helping was anonymous. I just wanted to help him. It didn't matter what. It didn't matter how painful. It didn't matter what I had to go through. I was having the most amazing opportunity to save someone's life, to make a difference. I really believe in a world where people do good things for others, even strangers and this was one other chance to do something good. Working with the staff of Gift of Life was a wonderful experience. Everyone there is friendly, kind. It's like having 10 Jewish grandmothers without the guilt. I first heard about Gift of Life when I was walking down the street and a buddy of mine told me that they were giving out free cookies for every person who registered. Me, being hungry, as I always am, decided I kind of wanted a cookie. So I went inside, got a cheek swab, and boy was I satisfied. When I got the phone call from Gift of Life saying that I might be a potential donor, I was thrilled. Having the opportunity to save somebody's life, that's pretty cool. The decision to donate bone marrow was a difficult one. But being a student at Yeshiva University, I had the support of my peers that got me through the process. I was not yet a student on the Yeshiva University campus when I chose to join the Gift of Life bone marrow registry, but I definitely think that being a student on campus influenced my decision when it came to running bone marrow drives. My decision to join the Gift of Life Registry was strongly influenced by the atmosphere around me in Yeshiva University. I remember the day of the drive, it seemed like there were a lot of people who were going in to be tested. The lifeblood of Gift of Life is to be able to have a growing registry. And the efforts that Gift of Life makes in terms of having additional participants in the registry is probably amortized the most when the registrants are young. So this is a way to get people who are 17, 18, 19, 20 years old onto the registry and their involvement lingers for 40 years or more. So it's a great, great gift to say that we can use all of God's gifts of science um, and all of the human's gifts to explore and discover, to be able to advance life, to be able to understand life so that we can cure afflictions and allow people to 
keep giving, to have lives of dignity, to have lives of health, and to be able to not only dream dreams, but live long and healthy so that those dreams can turn into realities. What can be more important than that? In recognition of its tremendous success, inspiring the next generation of young Jewish leaders to join in a life-saving mission and strengthen their bond with the Jewish people, Gift of Life is pleased to present Yeshiva University with the 2008 Partners for Life Award.